elbow pads are a piece of protective gear worn by many cavers, though they aren't as ubiquitous as knee pads. There are many caves that have relatively little crawling, or the crawling may be limited to hands and knees or very short stretches of belly crawling. Additionally, many cavers wear heavy-duty nylon oversuits that provide excellent abrasion protection for the arms. Even in caves that do require a lot of belly crawling, it's often the forearms that are used rather than the elbows. So less impact protection is necessary. But there are also caves where the crawling is extensive and the terrain is sharp and irregular, and many of these caves may be hot enough that cavers favor wearing short sleeves or a thin base layer instead of a heavy and hot oversuit. In many such caves, elbow pads are considered necessary gear. There are a few other sports, such as football and skating, that sometimes utilize elbow pads, and many cavers use these options, or even use smaller sized volleyball knee pads to protect their elbows. There are a handful of companies such as Crawl Daddies, Dirty Daves, Salamander Gear, and Gonzo Guano Gear that make elbow pads specifically for caving. The caving specific pads tend to be made from more durable fabrics such as ballistic nylon or cordura and hold up to the abuses of caving better. And because they don't see as much abuse as knee pads, they tend to last a lot longer. Just as with knee pads, there are some skating elbow pads that come with plastic or hard rubber caps, but these suffer from the same concerns as with knee pads. They provide very poor traction when crawling or climbing, and so I don't recommend these for caving. Because the elbows and forearms are not used as often as knees for crawling, and when they are, there's typically less weight applied, the padding in elbow pads tends to be thinner than for the typical knee pad. The most common padding thickness is quarter inch foam, and there are a few options made for cavers that are actually described as elbow guards rather than elbow pads, because they are primarily designed to protect from abrasion. Elbow pads are either designed with a sleeve or elastic bands that slide over the arm, a pair of adjustable elastic straps, or some combination. Many of the same issues of discomfort and difficulty keeping the pads in place that plague knee pads are common to elbow pads. If elbow pads are worn over the top of a nylon caving suit, the texture of the Cordura fabric does a pretty good job of preventing them from sliding around. Pads tend to move around a lot more if worn over bare arms or a thin base layer. Most of the caving specific pads cover the elbow as well as the upper half of the forearm. It's typically the area just below the elbow that takes most of the abuse. I'll be doing reviews on a variety of popular caving elbow pads in the coming months. For a comparison of elbow pad features such as cost, attachment method, padding thickness, sizing options, and where to buy them, head over to my website at derekbristol.com and check out the caving gear section.